Did you know that today is the first video I have done for these seasonal activity weapons? I did Iron Banner weapons, but I mostly focused this early part of the season with exotic buffs for Stag, Bombardiers, Graviton Forfeit, Precious Scars. And to say that I'm excited to talk about some of these is an understatement. There are some really good seasonal weapons, and I first want to start with the 180 RPM Stasis Hand Cannon Volpecula. It goes in the primary slot, and as I put down in the title, with what you can do with this hand cannon, I don't think that there's just one good roll for it. You want two or three of them. It's a very durable hand cannon, one of the most durable weapons in the entire game, and it's farmable. Of course, this is going to depend on if you can or will use some of them where they're designed. It's also going to come down to what you already have, and if you are going to utilize the special things that it does. I do encourage you to try some of these rolls out if you get them regardless, because it could become your new favorite thing. You can get it after a seasonal activity drop and a Wayfinder Compass Calibration level rank up, but it's mostly obtained from the Umbral Focusing. At the very top, you can roll the dice for a seasonal weapon. You can focus Tier 2, that's either going to be the Bow or the Volpecula, or you can focus Tier 3 with an option for a double perk. In this review, I want to explore the playstyles, what it brings to the table, my perk combinations, recommendations, where to use them, how to use them, and at the end, I'm going to share the rolls I am grinding for. It's the first stasis hand cannon, and as far as 180s go, they have the same downfalls and upsides. Poor handling, poor range, decent stability, high ammo count, easy to use. Near perfect recoil and near perfect accuracy. In the Crucible Super Relaxed TTK of 3 head 1 body for a 1 second overall time to kill, you can get a 2 head 2 body if the enemy is 4 resilience or less. If you get a 3 headshot kill with certain damage perks that we're about to go over, the TTK is a very fast .67 old school Luna not forgotten. The base stats are expected. Low range, low handling, mid stability and reload, higher than normal aim assist. This one sits at 69 aim assist. The recoil direction is at 97, it's vertical. The frame state's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical, and it fires quickly with high accuracy. But this isn't your ordinary 180. The range band is between 27 and 31.2 meters. 31.2, max range perks with a range masterwork. If you get just one range perk, and that could be accurized in the mag, could be the range masterwork, could be something like Hammer Forge from the barrel, it's going to be around 28 and a half meters. And with these 180s, you can build into anything. If you go full bore, that's going to be okay. It doesn't affect it too much because of the frame. I'm going to bring this up at the end, but with its stats, you do want one handling perk. That means it could be fluted. That's the best option, but then arrowhead or corkscrew. If you don't have one of those, you want a handling masterwork. Handling on these is really important. If you hit one of those, you build out after that. And this is a perfect example. I have fluted, accurized, a range of masterwork. I have some range, I have my handling, but I could go all into range if I wanted to with Hammer Forged, but I'm gonna take this handling bump any day, every single time. For the mag, accurized or steady, pure mag options are really good too. If not, backup mag. Because they have high accuracy, you don't really need Icarus. And when they buff the magazine on these, it did wonders for them, because those mag perks are percentage perks. If the mag count is already high, you get more. You can get 16, 17 rounds. It's really good. For the perks, here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to single out some of them with combinations, talk about them a little bit. So in the right column, we see multi-kill clip. Here's the deal. Multi-kill clip, great perk. If you want it for PvE, do it. In the Crucible, it's great there too. It allows you to get that .673 tap after a reload, but it depends on what you have. To me, Volpecula brings things to the table no other hand cannons can do, but it also shares some of those things like multi-kill clip. Overall body of work, something like the Survivor's Epitaph just does it better. Rabbit hit multi-kill clip, outlaw kill clip, heating up multi-kill clip. Just better equipped for that playstyle. But that doesn't mean you can't do well. Volpecula with this perk combination, it can get the job done. You're going to pair multi-kill clip with a couple things. One being tunnel vision, tunnel weapons have it. But it has some pretty unique combinations like Ensemble MKC. Ensemble states that when you're 15 meters and within from a teammate, you get plus 30 handling and a bonus to your reload speed. So the things that are a downfall, you get help. And it plays in a multi-kill clip. I like it. The ADS speed and reload, it's very noticeable. And things like 6v6 or three-man teams in PvE, it works well. The fast reload goes right in a multi-kill clip, and you get a pretty snappy aim down side speed. Another perk, opening shot. Again, I think others do it better, but it's still a good option. You can do killing wind opening, outlaw opening, encore opening shot. But I want to start getting into and focusing on these strong perk combinations. First up, shoot to loot, explosive payload. Here's the deal. First, explosive payload splash damage does indeed pick up green ammo from behind cover. That's nice. It's kind of cool. It's niche. But this particular role is more of a PvE workhorse. They don't have it this season, but I will be using this when hand cannons get a champion mod. Could be anti-barrier, overload, unstoppable, whatever. 
Because remember, explosive payload, it has 11% damage increase on headshots and PvE, and 15% to body shots, basically frenzy. The explosion has no drop off, you have unlimited ammo, you could be at a distance. You can use that explosive damage to get targets way off in the distance, and when you're far away and in safety, you can shoot that ammo brick with shoot to loot for your rocket, linear fusion, sniper, fusion, get it safely, great combination. And with shoot to loot now, when you hit that brick, it reloads all equipped weapons from reserves. Seriously, very good setup. Explosive rounds for far off targets. It also really helps shooting the brick because sometimes it feels like you hit it and you don't. Explosive payload really helps you just grab the brick. It's special. It's the only hand cannon with shoot to loot. Next, I want to talk about my favorite perk on it, Harmony. You've been seeing Harmony for most of the gameplay in this video. Harmony states final blows with other weapons improve this weapon's damage and performance for a short time. When you get a kill with another weapon, you have 3 seconds to switch to the Harmony one, and when you do, Harmony is up for 7 seconds. You get plus 15 handling and plus 20% more damage. That damage is the same as High Energy Fire. High Energy Fire is widely used as a PvP charge with light mod. It means that once you get a kill, and that kill is something that you're good with, something that you main most of the time, it could be a sniper, a shotgun, a fusion, anything, get a kill with that, and then you have this pocket high energy fire to bring out and start three tapping with. If someone's rushing you, you could bring it out, defend yourself. If you get a kill at a distance, you can bring it out and then hunt for that seven seconds. It's amazing, truly special on this hand cannon because of the archetype, brings it to that not forgotten Luna 0.67. And Harmony is gonna differ between weapons, but on a 180 RPM, it shines. Hands down, my favorite perk for it. You can do so much, and not only that, you can pair it with anything. When building your loadout, it isn't just Eye of Soul, it isn't just Chaperone or Palindrome or Duality. It turns one lethal thing that you do really well into rolling that over, translating to this .673 tap. I think it's incredible. Very, very special. And the third is going to be Headstone. Headstone creates a lot for stasis users. It has multiple uses, and I talked about it in a previous video. The crystals that you create do block enemy ghosts for a revive. That, of course, in game modes that have revives. It's an extra step for your enemy to break that crystal to get that revive. You can have on fissures. It's going to deal more damage to enemies when they're close to it. You can freeze enemies that are close after you get the headstone final blow because when it forms, it can freeze the surrounding area. You can also create the crystal, move to it, and if you have on Whisper of Chains, you get damage resistance. So you can just use that thing as cover, rotate around it. I paired it with a Harmony Shire's Wrath. I have the DR, I have 20% damage going out with the Wrath, it's great. Then if no one's around, you can just break the crystal, if you have on shards, to boost your grenade recharge rate. So many things you can do, and that goes for PvE as well. Headstone, it's a dynamic playstyle for the subclass. It helps all those things, grenade recharge, damage reduction, freezing, shattering, cover. It's good, a way to constantly get that grenade ability cooldown to keep on going. Now, other perks like Adagio, I'm not a fan of this one. I will say this though, when you get a kill, it slows down the fire rate to that somewhat old school Luna Not Forgotten feel. The only way I would use that perk is if that's what I was looking for. I wanted that, but I don't. Because you get the damage up, but you're slowing down your RPM. And if you're looking for three taps, you need to go with Harmony. You need to go with Multi-Kill Clip. Adagio is special only on a few archetypes so far. But overall, I already have one role. That's the Shoot to Loot Explosive Payload. Now, the next one I want is the one that's going to be all-in-one. The two perks in that second node, I want Harmony and Headstone. I use them a lot currently, and now I can just switch easily, and that helps create vault space. Now, for the first perk, I want Outlaw or Killing Wind. If I get Harmony and Headstone, I'm good. I can work with the first perk, but if I don't get these two, I'm still going to keep grinding. And why I like Outlaw, that's what I currently have on my Harmony Volpacula. It works well. You have that seven second window. You want to get the ammo out. You want to get the fast reloads to get that damage out. Now, Killing Wind, tad bit more range. Overall, better weapon performance. It's good. And as I started with, I don't think that you want just one of these. It's special. It's going to depend on if you're going to use them. Because like me, I am currently and will use Explosive Payload Shoot to Loot. I will use Harmony, I will use Headstone on Stasis. I have been. So try rolls out, build craft, see what you can and can't live without. I found the special places for these three rolls. And you need to see if you can do the same. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. And if you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming. Use the link down below and my code COOL at checkout for a discount. Let's talk about Volpecula down below. What is your favorite perks and combinations? Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.